Hi, I'm Rob with Daytona Motorsports. Dat and the guys at Pacific Riding School have asked me to take a few minutes to give you guys some pointers on how to fit properly a motorcycle helmet. This is a very, very big deal. It's the most important piece of safety equipment you're going to buy, and hopefully you'll never need. But hopefully at the end of this video, you'll have the tools you need to walk into a bike shop and walk out with what you need. All right, step one, we're gonna show you today how to properly put a helmet on and make sure it fits the right way. We're gonna have Damon put this on. So you can just take both helmet straps, pull straight out and straight down on your head. When you first put the helmet on, you wanna make sure that it's not sitting high on your forehead, okay? Grab the helmet, pull it down. You want the top of the helmet to be sitting just above or right on your eyebrow line, okay? This is going to ensure that your head is fully into the top of the helmet and it's gonna be able to do its job and protect your head. First test you wanna do for fit is grab the chin bar and pull straight down. Make sure you can't block your eyes. If you can cover your eyes, it's gonna limit your visibility and cause problems while riding. Secondly, you wanna look like a chipmunk. Gotta have the puffy cheeks. Make sure the cheek pads are squeezing your face and are underneath your cheek. You can also test by twisting side to side. Make sure the cheek pad maintains contact with your face at all times. You wanna look for gaps and spaces. Make sure your head is filling as much space inside the helmet as you can possibly get. They come in many different sizes and shapes, so you wanna make sure that you get the right helmet for your head shape. Okay, so we showed you how a proper fit of a helmet is. Now we're gonna demonstrate what most people end up, if you don't have the right information, would end up buying in a store. So we'll get Linda to throw this helmet on for us. Just pull the straps out and straight down on your head. Most people that don't know what they're looking for are gonna end up with a helmet that's comfortable, all right? As a helmet breaks in, it's gonna stretch and become more comfortable. So when you're buying it, you wanna make sure it's very snug. If you buy comfortable, you're gonna have the ability to do this, which is gonna block your vision. You can't see anything while riding a motorcycle like this. So if we go back and do our twist test, comes right off the face, I can get fingers in between her cheek, and the helmet is entirely too big and would move around at any wind speed. So motorcycle helmets come in a wide variety of sizing. Um, right down from a triple extra small all the way up to a 4 or 5 XL for those of you that have a really big head. And ladies, I want you to be careful. There's a big misconception, men's helmets versus ladies' helmets. There is no difference between men's and ladies' helmets other than the color on the outside of the helmet. You're still looking for the perfect fit. That's what's key. So next we're going to move into what kind of features a helmet should have. The basic features that you're going to look for are something that is well ventilated, when it gets hot in the summertime, you want to be able to move some air through the helmet to keep it cool. Quick release visor is a really big feature. Something that's easy to take on and off without tools. You don't want to be sitting on the side of the road trying to change a visor. Um, if you're going to use a tinted visor during the day, clear visor needs to be used at night for proper visibility. There's also have visors on the market now that are uh, auto tint that will change from clear to dark instantly uh, based on the light conditions. Uh, something with a removable interior is a big advantage that snaps out so it can be cleaned uh, for hygienic reasons. This is great. And sooner or later, you're not going to be allowed in your house with it after it gets hot outside. So full cheek pads and headliners are removable in just about every helmet today. Uh, there is features such as visor locks that are available on helmets that will stop the visor from lifting uh, at higher speeds. Uh, and also is available so that you can have a little bit of air movement through the visor while you're riding to help uh, from fogging. Most of the helmets nowadays also have anti-fog visors built in, which is a big feature in the spring and the fall when you start riding. All right, this segment, we're going to show you what is inside your helmet. The stuff you don't see when you're looking at it on the shelf. A helmet is produced of two basic components, the exterior shell and the internal lining. The external shell is used to take the energy from an impact and spread it out. Move it as far away from the point of impact as quickly as possible. This particular one is produced of plastic. Very cost effective and lightweight. The next step would be fiberglass. Fiberglass is a little stronger, absorbs impact density better, and from there we move into lightweight strength, strengthening materials such as carbon fiber and Kevlar. The internal liner looks like styrofoam. It's actually produced of EPS, expanded polystyrene. The purpose of this piece of the shell is to take the energy from the impact and absorb it into the styrofoam to reduce any possibility of a concussion before you hit the ground. Okay, next thing we want to talk about is helmet approval certifications. 
The bare minimum for use in Canada is a DOT certification. You're going to find this located on the back of the helmet and it's required by law to be put there on every helmet sold. DOT stands for the Department of Transportation and is the bare minimum that is accepted for use in Canada. The step above that will be the Snell certification. The Snell Memorial Foundation has been around since the late 1950s testing helmets for a higher level of safety. It's required for use in all forms of motorsport racing in both Canada and the United States. You can be rest assured if you're getting a helmet with a Snell certification, it has been tested for a much higher impact rating than a basic DOT helmet. Your safety is important and it's entirely up to you what you put on your head. All right, common question I get all the time is what am I getting for my money? Why are these helmets $100? Why are these ones $1,000? $129, entry level price point, DOT approved, plastic construction, entry level. Great starter helmet, doesn't have a lot of features that you may be looking for. The next step up in the line, also produced a plastic, a little bit better ventilation system for when it's hotter out. We've now moved to a Snell certification, better safety, has the quick release visor and a removable interior. When we move into the price range of the $400 plus helmets, we've moved into a fiberglass construction. So it's definitely stronger, better for impact absorption, better protection for your head. Now we have the visor lock mechanism, uh, again the quick release, the 100% removable washable interior, the Snell certification. Finally, above that, we're going to move into the fiberglass, but based with carbon fiber and Kevlar's. Extremely lightweight, the best ventilation system money can buy for cooling, and all the other features that we talked about with the safety certifications. At the end of the day, the key comes down to fit. You need to put the helmet on, spend some time in it. Don't be afraid to walk around the store. Wear it for 10 or 15 minutes, see if you develop any pressure points, any spots on your head. Everybody's head is different, there's many different shapes, every brand is different, so try them all out and spend some time. Okay guys, hopefully these tips that I've given you today will give you uh, enough information to not be afraid to walk into a bike shop and get your first helmet. And remember, it's all about the information. There's lots of information out there, don't be afraid to utilize it. Hopefully these tips will help you. And remember, have a great season and don't be afraid to ask questions.